we thought we had a pretty good crop this year. Things were shaping up. We knew we were gonna pay double for our input costs this year. Um, and it looked pretty good till July. And we started getting these high nighttime temperatures. Uh, I began to get a little concerned in about how it was gonna affect our corn and cotton and soybeans. Um, and then harvest rolled around and then the week before harvest, uh, a rain came in, it rained for seven to 10 days, pretty consistent, uh, not big rains for us. We had about three inches. Uh, the south part of the county had eight. Uh, state line had 12 to 14. Uh, they had sprouted beans down there in the pod, which are unharvestable. Uh, and we got into harvest and we had damage. Uh, mold and swiveled up beans. Uh, the swivel beans we think came from the heat in July. The mold came from excessive moisture. We have a real big problem with uh, red banded stink bugs and not a lot of products to kill those, but we sprayed four times, so we think we should have kept them cleaned. Um, but we still had damage running anywhere from um, five to 30% and some of the elevators have changed their discount charts. 30% uh, they're taking $8.60 a bushel off your soybeans, so. Pretty similar to what we saw in the northern part of the state in 2018. So what we're seeing is uh, fields that uh, look good all season. Um, you know, probably some really good yields, but due to some circumstances and things, you know, outside of the farmer's control, uh, we're seeing, you know, some of this damage. Uh, you know, with the, the prices of inputs this year and then, you know, some of these farmers thinking they were going to get at least some profit, you know, with the good commodity prices, uh, this is really kind of, you know, hitting them in the, in the, in the pocketbook. I don't think there's any one thing we can put our finger on to exactly say, you know, why we're seeing this damage. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, planting date, varieties, maturity groups. Um, you know, the stress we had this summer uh, on the crop, uh, I think it kind of set us up for having some quality issues. Yeah, so I'll just key in on that. Definitely the environmental uh, conditions had a lot to contribute to it. Uh, that rain in the middle of August, like Jeremy was saying, uh, anywhere from three to 12 inches around the county um, is the, it's probably, going to be your main cause but it is a series of, a, of events that cause this just not one thing. A lot of our farm was ready to combine. We uh, try to be early. Uh, that's our scout likes that. Uh, this was a bad year to be early. Uh, we cut 63 trailer truck loads here and uh, we probably got a I'm guessing I haven't had the girl added up yet, but I'd say at least $140,000 worth of damage. Uh, it's in there. The rain was, we had nine inches, eight inches, seven inches over a 10 day period. Different farms had different amounts. The temperatures were high. It did a, a lot of damage. Somebody my age, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get over it, but some of these younger guys, they're not gonna get over it. Uh, if they have the damage that I'm having, and I'm saying everybody's gonna have damage down here. The further south in the county, the worse it is. Uh, it's gonna be very hard on them. They haven't had a chance to build up any equity, and uh, it's, it's gonna be a disaster. You've heard some of these other guys talk about the excessive damage and uh, things in our beans, and I know some of that it's kind of hard to understand and put into layman's terms when you're not around it every day, but pretty much in a simplified form, when we're selling these soybeans to the elevators, like for instance, we have one just a couple miles down the road, they can set up their own discount schedule when you get graded on the test weight, which is the, the weight of one bushel of your beans. And if it's not exactly to their specifications, you're going to get docked for that. You can get docked for moisture is a, another big one. Damage, foreign material, splits, other factors such as musty, sour, or hot beans. If I'm spending $500 an acre to grow these soybeans and I'm only making, you know, I'm projected to make $600 an acre to make a profit. If they're pretty much taking more than $100 per acre from us after we've got all this weather events and 
you'll see some of these dam damaged veins uh, from these samples and it's really, uh, you know, just caused a, a conflict for us here this year. And, uh, this is going to be a sad harvest for a lot of people. Uh, ours is uh, way off from what we normally are. Uh, I'm not complaining. I mean, uh, maybe it's my turn to lose. I know those guys in Dumas took it on the chin last year. I mean, devastation, but we are truly going to be in a bind around here.